Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Illawa Fellowship of Christian Athletes staff of Tim Schneckloth, Connie Helm, and myself, Dan Pearson. As we wrap up 2014, FCA celebrates 60 years of ministry to see the world impacted for Jesus Christ through the influence of coaches and athletes. It's a privilege to use the four C's of FCA to present the gospel. Coaches, campus, camp, and community. God's been bringing amazing results. Plenty to celebrate as we look back on 2014. FCA is going good, uh, and I think oftentimes we neglect to make room for God in our everyday lives, and setting aside time on Tuesday morning can really help to uh, keep that time just for the Lord. This is the second year we've been doing it, definitely getting in a lot of new faces each week, and our huddle has definitely grown since last year. moments of my life. I was sitting there and the, just looking at just praying the entire time, just got what we wanted. I would have never gotten to where I am without FCA and the teachers there really pushed me to look at my faith more. Is this what you dreamed it was going to be like? Yeah, this is awesome. I'm glad I get to share it with these girls. Maybe that's the best part, right? Yeah, it definitely is. Before the games, I would pray to God and think about God. Have and pray for him to give me strength, but I also pray no matter what happens during the game, it's still just a game, and at the end of the day, you still have to be strong in your faith. Um, I just think it's a good way to um, blend your your Christian faith into the sports, and knowing that when you have God with you, anything can happen, and you can encourage others to do their best. You know, that's only short, you know, short time and God, that's everlasting, you know, so I play for God and that's really the only person I play for. The coaches are really nice, the huddle leaders are awesome, they're, they're really strong in their faith and they're a great influence on you. I got to share what I love with everyone around me while also being involved in the sport. You got to talk about God and then go to your sport and back to God and back to sport. So it was cool to be able to share that with people that are similar to you. When you're playing in your hometown, there might be some people that are just kind of out, just to, just kind of like chill out with their friends or something. But here, you know, everyone's here to have a, to go uh, get closer to Christ and compete in their sport. Um, and everyone's just here to go hard. Just surround yourself with uh, good friends or people. If you meet someone here that like lives close by, goes to your school, we maybe like just communicate with them, talk to them, make sure you guys like keep up on each other, keep each other accountable, make sure that you're playing for God and then like you're playing for Jesus. And it's not for yourself. It was an unbelievable move of God. Uh, if you can get up in the morning and thank God for the fact that you gave everything you could and uh, you responded in the way that he wanted you to do when things didn't go well, uh, I think he's honored by that and I think he's uh, glorified by the way you handle yourself when things don't go your way. Lead off hitter, lead off hitter right here. And I feel like I'm, I'm 18 years old and then I go home and I look in the mirror and I say, who is that old guy? You know? <laughs> and, and so, you know, when I step down, it, the boys are what I'm really going to miss. I love baseball, but 
the boys let me be a part of them and uh, uh, you know I, I just feel that it's a family when they leadership trapped Jesus and they said what a, you know what is the most important thing and they thought he was going to mention one of the ten you know commandments or the 400 Pharisaic laws and he goes no it comes down to this you gotta learn to love God with all your mind heart and strength he says when you get that part he says then you go do life really well with others now you can go and learn so it's been around for a long time the idea that we are three dimensional so if athletes which are human beings, if we coach them in three dimensions, you end up getting an athlete that's totally committed to this cause, whatever the cause that you put. So it's great to be able to share your faith with anybody and to, to share it with fans who root for you day in and day out. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, hopefully, you know, it's not so much about them coming to hear me, but to hear the word of Christ. And, you know, I hope a, a, a lot of these people walk away if they if they didn't have assurance of salvation before, you know, maybe they can come ask about it. I thought it was really cool how they were so open to talk about their faith. And um, I just really liked how they could be able to share it with people my age. God speaking to you tonight. Um, we, we invite you to come up here. It reaches out to the kids in the area that, okay, maybe that sounds like fun, and they go, and it is a lot of fun. It's amazing to come out to Fields of Faith. I feel like it certainly reaches out more to the kids because it's coming from someone more their age and through their experience. Anytime students can hear from another student, it carries a lot more weight than an adult coming in and saying, uh, here's what you should believe. When I see one of their classmates believing it, I think it gets them to ask questions. So coming out of a Fields of Faith event, I would I would hope that the student will at least have some questions about, okay, who is Christ? What, what did he do for me? What can he do for me? Certainly there's lots to praise God for in 2014 and lots more to anticipate in 2015, including the addition of a new staff member. John Joyce will be joining us as an Illawa FCA area rep. We'll place him in the southern part of our region. With all that in mind, would you partner with us with a year-end gift? Perhaps $50, $100, $250, or even a $1,000 gift to Illawa FCA. Believe me, it will be put to good use. With that in mind, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Illawa FCA.